So this question says the volume scale factor of 2.744 written as a linear scale factor in the form of A to B is, and remember, this is basically going to be um, new to old, or if, if you want, it's like you're, you're drawing to the original, whatever. Now, to go to a volume scale factor, what we end up doing is cubing the linear scale factor. And we've seen this example, uh, this done before here, where we went from a linear scale factor to an area scale factor. You, you square that scale factor, that linear scale factor. So really what I want to do is I want to take the square, the, sorry, the cube root of 2.744 to figure out, well, what is this linear scale factor? If the volume, what if I multiply 2.744 to get the new volume, what did I do on the side? And that actually makes a lot of sense here because if you've got a, a volume that you're creating, right, we've got, we're going to multiply by the scale factor this way, this way, and this way. Okay, three different dimensions there. So it's going to end up being cubed here. So the cube root of 2.744 ends up being 1.4. Okay, so that's bigger than one, which makes sense because the volume scale factor is also bigger than one. So it's getting larger. So it couldn't have been A anyway, because that, that's getting smaller here. Because I want I want the uh, the new to the old here. So let's just go through and check each of these. Seven divided by five. It turns out that that's 1.4. So there's my answer. Now, just to be clear, if I was to check 49 to 25, that is going to be 1.96. That's That's not 1.4. And 343 to 125 is 2.744. Uh, um, that is actually the original one. Okay, There's been no change there. But if you're going to go from volume scale factor to linear scale factor, it, it has to change. It has to be a, a different value there. So it's not the same thing. Answer's got to be B.